All right, Orange Mud Endurance Pack. This is my review for the Orange Mud Endurance Pack. My name's Daniel, and I'm head coach of Distance Runners Unlimited, and all right, here we go. So the Orange Mud Endurance Pack is from the company Orange Mud, based in Colorado. They're now in Australia. They've been here for a little while. All right, so this pack, um, I was asked to review it, and I have to say, not bad, but I'll let you decide. I'm not gonna pass, give it a score. You can just give it a, your own score. So we'll, we'll go and break it down. So first of all, we've got these chest straps. So I'm gonna work through the chest straps that are adjustable this way. They're elastic, all right? So you can tighten them, loosen them, okay? And you've got these little things, these little loops on there to stop them from uh, moving around and flapping around, okay? They're clips, they're, they're nice and comfortable. So you unclip like that. Okay, this top one has a built-in whistle. So if you um, need that for your mandatory gear, which a lot of racers do, especially trail ultras. Okay, um, the actual clips, this is a good, a good selling point, I think. Um, they slide up and down here. So um, depending on the comfort, you can move them. They're probably good for ladies as well. Um, you can have them higher or lower. And anyway, so it helps to keep the pack nice and central over your center of gravity, which I'll mention again later in the video. Um, we've got, okay, so that's the chest straps. Then we move on to the main part, the selling point of these, these shoulder straps. So good, okay? Very comfortable and wide overall, okay? Lots of pockets. So the good thing about this pack is that um, the pockets, uh, everything, you can put most of your gear that you need to use during a race right within, within reach. So you don't have to go reach over okay um, and get stuff out the back or around this way it's all very close so we've got um starting down here we've got a little pocket so they're the same on each side so a little pocket all right this one has you can probably put your rubbish in there you can you could probably here i've got a gel you could probably put a gel in there if you wanted to okay or a couple of gels but then it doesn't close up but that's so it's okay all right i'll get there's another spot for the gels okay so not bad pack, pretty big, not a bad pocket, pretty big, okay. Then we've got this one, this is your water, this is where your water bottle might go. So you can put your soft flasks, or you could put a, a, even a plastic water bottle in there if you wanted to, but um, it goes a long way in, it goes in very far. So you could, they reckon you could fit probably 600, 700 ml bottle in there, okay, so that's good to know. And you could throw your phone in there as well if you like, if you're not using a bottle, you can just tighten it right up, phone's not going to go anywhere. It'll fit the bigger the bigger phones, um, the wider screen phones. Um, yeah, and then we move up, we move on up to the top pocket. Okay, really good. Velcro. Velcro is not used enough, if you ask me. Okay, stops things from falling out. This is you can put nutrition in there, you can put gels in there. So you know, I'll put this gel so very easily. You can probably fit, and they go a long way back. So these, you could probably easily, if you really wanted to, you could fit probably half a dozen gels in there comfortably on either side. So, and because it's sitting right on top of your shoulders, weight's not an issue because it's, you know, it's in the perfect spot. Okay, so really easy access. And then boom, not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so there's that. All right, very, very comfortable. All right, um, love the pockets at the front. Love how comfortable it feels um, here at the front. So, as you, you may have noticed, here's the, um, the tube for the bladder, adjustable, it's from Hydropack. And yeah, it works. Um, I guess you can put whatever bladder you like in there, or you can have no bladder at all. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to um, uh, take the pack off, and I'm going to show you the other side. So over here, we've got our... The rest of the pack. Okay, so the color, yes, this is the color is called Coyote, Coyote Brown, apparently. So it's an unusual name, but I actually quite like the color because I like the, the it's sort of like a caramel. It won't show up the dirt as much. Um, there are other colors available. You have to check out the website. Okay. Um, all right. So we're looking on here. Uh, first up, we've got these elastic straps. These are really good if you have a 
you've got a wet weather jacket that you need to stuff in here very easily goes in okay and there we go easy pretty easy access you can get that in and out as you need to okay or you can adjust it and so very useful multifunctional on here we've got adjustments and you can add actually have an additional extra capacity you can purchase um, and that will allow you to um, yeah, have more room okay so and there's also an attachment for your hiking poles so really really good um, they've sort of thought of everything okay we open up the first pocket we've got it's probably the smaller of the three on the back but you can still it, it still goes all the way in okay um, lots of room for like your things like um, you can put your thermal blanket in there, rescue blanket, bandages, um, gloves, and more mandatory gear. I'm, I'm doing a 100 kilometer race in a few weeks, and I practiced putting all of my mandatory gear in here and was successful. So it, it's really pleasing. Okay, um, then the next pocket, oh, did I mention there, yeah, there's a little spot to put your car keys. So go for a run, attach your keys to the clip, so it doesn't go about jiggling around too much and you don't lose it in the bottom of the pack. Second pocket goes way down here okay so it's really um heaps of space in this pocket you could fit like if you I mean realistically you could fit um your jacket in there anything if it, but it just has to squish down a bit it, there's not a great deal of stretch in this but it, it is um well there is a bit of stretch so it should be all right but yeah i think it's very comfortable the whole i think the whole idea is that with these packs they'd like to keep everything very streamlined and I think that's a, a real addition, a real plus. Okay, so now we, we go to the hydration pack part, hydro pack. So they use the Velcro to keep it attached. Okay, we open that up. And now this is probably one of the best things. I love the way these hydration packs and the, how you can change them. So you come into an aid station and time is money. You don't want to waste time at, too much time at the aid station. So change it filling up water bottles that just slides off this opens up like that and then it's wide open at the moment there's about a liter and a half in there fits two liters okay you don't have to have a hydration pack in there uh, you can have that plus your two water bottles at the front you can have over three liters worth of um uh, liquid if you wanted or you know you don't have to i sometimes don't use one of these so really easy fill it up then this slides back on Okay, and you're off. Or you actually would you put this back through? And done. Okay, really, really pleasing. Okay, again, so comfortable. This is very breathable and yeah, it um it sits very comfortably on the back. Now before I finish, oh yeah, there's these adjustable straps on the side here that make that are really important. So and simple, not a lot of flappy parts. And these things that flap around, you can very easily just tuck them in to these clips on the side here, and they're not going to go anywhere. So like, um, they really thought of everything. So when you're running, there's not much stuff moving around. We don't want stuff moving around too much. Okay. And so as and the the final the final sort of positive thing that I like about this pack is the overall comfort. So it sits comfortably on the back. Okay. And it sits very high and very close to your center of gravity. And I think. Uh, anyone who's run with packs before knows that this can be a real problem and and it throws my I've had problems with my lower back with other packs with um, certain um, certain brands the pack sits too low and you end up with rubbing on your lower back or just lower back pain and it can make it very difficult to continue running so this is I think one of the things that orange might have gone for to keep it nice and high I know mountain bikers use these things um, they're comfortable, they look cool, and they're just a new kid on the block. And so, um, yeah, I am really like it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to give it a score, but based, I've sort of tried to cover everything in the review today. Um, if you like these packs, um, you can go to the Australian website, uh, orangemud.com.au, and if you spend more than $50, you can use a special code from me, okay, and that'll give you 15% off. And that code is... DRU15, as in capital D, capital R, capital U, the number 15, 
um, do that at the checkout and that'll give you 15% off all purchases over $50. So um, check it out and um, give it a new go. Um, give it a go. Orange mud. You know, I like it. All right. Peace. Have a good day.